your favorite song to get amped before a set? You know, this is going to, I Lee Priest and I have talked about this. Joe Gold, when he had Gold, and when he had World Gym, and he, there was no music allowed in there. It was like a, it was like a, like almost like a church in there. All you heard was clanking of weights. You didn't hear any music, and he didn't allow it. I don't know if you can wear headphones or not, but he didn't play any music in the gym. And I know it sounds weird, but I kind of like that. I, it was, it's kind of like, like, like you can hear the, I call it the voice of God in the silence, you know? And I, I like to focus that way. I never had headsets on with music blasting in my ears. Now, I trained in plenty of gyms that had music going. It didn't even matter because when I got under a set to do the set, I didn't hear anything. It was like my, it was like I had tunnel vision. My wife says that when I, when I can't, when I'm working on the computer, it's like that. She'll talk to me. I don't even hear her, but I don't even know what she's talking about. I, I, it's like background noise to me. So I didn't really use music to, to inspire me. I did sometimes before I left my house would watch maybe a training video like Dorian Yates, Blood and Guts or something like that, or Ronnie's videos. But other than that, in the gym, I was like a focused machine. I didn't, I didn't need music. Uh, this one is about now. Um, obviously, often we ask about questions regarding your contest career. And um, this one is about you post-shoulder surgeries from Jacob Jameson. Um, it's a pretty long uh, I hate. But help, I couldn't help but notice. But you're looking bigger post-shoulder replacement. Um, are you trying to add mass or are you just are you just such a freak that the extra working out you do with a fixed shoulder is making you grow? Now, you have well documented the fact that you are back. Um, you know, you and Amanda go to Crunch Fitness. I mean, you are training again. But the question is, is this something where you're trying to add size or is just a byproduct of your your nature? I um I actually in the gym, I do train, you know, that once I had my shoulders replaced, I can do all the movements now that I couldn't do. I could do dumbbell presses and I can do, you know, I, I can do pull downs. I have, no, I have no pain. And that in and of itself is now allowing me to work the muscles properly. Now, I'm sure if I did 200 milligrams of HRT per, per week, I probably would add 20 to 25 pounds of muscle to my body. You know, right now I'm about 195. I'd probably be like 215 or something like that easily because now I can train. But because I, I don't, I only take a shot of HCG now and then just to keep my testosterone levels on the slightly higher level. Um, I'm not going to add massive amounts of muscle. Plus, I don't eat a million grams of protein a day like I used to. So I have added muscle, though, yes. If, if, if I took my shirt off or whatever and I uh, posed at some point, maybe I will, to show people. I have delts again and I have a back again and, and, you know, my arms came back. So I'm just not big, but... But I definitely added size to my body because now I can train. You know, it's a miracle that I had as much muscle for as long as I did because I was really faking it in the gym, doing all kinds of little machine movements to kind of just compensate because I was in a lot of pain when I was, was training. So, yeah, I, I definitely added some muscle back these last couple, maybe last year or so since I've been back at a real gym. Same thing with my legs came up a little bit, but uh, I'm not trying to get huge or anything by any means. 